volcanoes act up in every possible way. Like a moody person, they can erupt in violence or steam silently, lazily creep along or self-destruct. A volcano's origin determines its temperament. Many volcanoes erupt along subduction zones. Here, the great tectonic plates of our planet's surface push against one another. Along this margin, where one plate is rolled beneath another, we find the most violent volcanoes. Explosive eruptions fit our image of a volcano. They create large, cone-shaped mountains. These erupt when magma below forces its escape. Fueled by expanding gases and boiling groundwater, the excess heat blasts through. Volcanoes like this often have alternating layers of different volcanic materials, ash, cinders and lava. These layered cones are called composite volcanoes. Hawaii isn't near the joining of two plates, but it's a hotspot of volcanic activity. What fuels it? The Hawaiian Islands are hotspot islands, created when a pool of magma breaks through a thin spot in the crust. As it burns through, the plate moves along at 10 centimeters a year. One island is carried away to cool, while the next one is created in assembly line fashion. On the big island of Hawaii, Kilauea has been erupting since 1983 and shows no signs of letting up. It's an example of a second kind of volcano, the Shield Volcano. The central crater is called a caldera. It still steams, but probably won't erupt violently. Farther out, lava oozes and flows, creating new land as it cools. The wide flow is what creates a shield volcano rather than a cone one. This new unstable bench is pure basalt. Sometimes the flows are only inches from the surface. The thick honey-like lava typical of Hawaii cools into a harsh barren environment that can take years to support life. Cinder cones are a third kind of volcano. Mexico's Paracutin is a dramatic example. Like composite volcanoes, they can be explosively violent visitors to the surface of our planet. They burst forth with enormous quantities of ash, cinders and lava fragments. They rapidly build volcanic mountains, but never as wide as shield volcanoes or as high as composites. Cinder cone shape is determined by the size of the ejected material. 